Okay, so here's how you do this one. So it will ultimately be a division. Sorry. So this will ultimately be a division. But to be a division, we need a factor. And to work out a factor, we need a root. Okay, now remember, roots are subbed in. Okay, so essentially what we do is we're going to sub in numbers for x and see which one works, as in which one gives us 0. So we'll start with x equals 1. So I'm going to replace every x with a 1. And I'm basically going to check, does that give me zero? So I've got my calculator, 1 cubed minus 3 bracket 1 squared minus 9 bracket 1 plus 11. Ah, and that does give me zero. Handy. So that means x equal to 1 is a root. And we did this, um, I think it was Friday. You go the other way, so you bring that back across and it becomes a minus 1. So you get x minus 1 is a factor. Then you take that factor and you divide it in Yeah. Now, I know you can do this quite well, so I'm just going to go through this quite quickly. x into x cubed goes x squared. You multiply x squared by x minus 1, and you get x cubed minus 1x squared. Change the signs, so this becomes a minus, and this becomes a plus. That cancels. So minus 3x squared plus 1x squared is minus 2x squared minus 9x. Then we go again, so x into minus 2x squared is minus 2x. Minus 2x by x is minus 2x squared, and minus 2x by minus 1 is plus 2x. Change the sign, so this becomes a plus, and this becomes a minus. And that gives me minus 11x plus 11. And I divide in again, so x into minus 11x is minus 11. Multiply that, you get minus 11x plus 11. Change the signs, plus, minus. So we're done. Yeah, so then I was saying this last week. This here is linear, which means we get one root from there. This one here is quadratic. So that's going to give us the other two roots, and that will make up. Um, all three. Yeah, it's cubic, as in the original question up here. It's cubic, which means there's three roots. We're going to get, we already have one. Okay, one of the roots is x equals one. So we're going to get the other two from the quadratic. So I'm going to take it, which is x squared minus 2x minus 11 equals zero. Now, the fact that it says up here, write any irrational roots in the form, and it has this a plus b root c, it, that's a hint that, you know, the brackets that we've been doing isn't going to work. Okay, so you have to do this the other way. I can't remember. We have. We definitely have done this. You're going to have to use the minus b formula. So a is the number in front of x squared, which in this case is a 1. b is the number in front of x which is a minus 2, and then C is the constant, which is minus 11. Uh, we then go to the formula in tables book, get our minus B formula, and then sub in. So it's going to be minus minus 2, plus or minus, 
minus 2 squared minus 4 a is 1 c is minus 11 and then 2 times 1 so I'm basically going to do this entire thing into my calculator with the plus so I've used my fraction button minus bracket minus 2 plus square root bracket minus 2 squared minus 4 bracket 1 bracket minus 11 close bracket and that's all over 2 times 1 so my calculator says 1 plus 2 root 3 and now I'm going to do the whole thing again except this time I'm going to use the minus And that gives me my other answer, which is 1 minus 2 root 3. So, this is one root. This is the other root. And the third one I wrote at the very start, x equals 1 is our root. So that's my third one. And now I have solved. Okay, so that's how you do that.